Well, today on The Bowling Point, we are going to be talking to Stephen Taylor about two things. One, about uh, a safety ish issue as also a convenience issue. So make sure you tune in to see that. But before we get started, please like, please share, watch the videos, get out to LinkedIn, uh, check our YouTube channel out, but also remember BoilerWarehouse.com, new social channel, check that out as well. One more thing, Boiler 2024, mark your calendars, May 1st, 2nd, 3rd, make sure you, you are there. And we'll see you next time on The Boiler Point. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware, and as always, the man, the myth, the legend, Stephen Taylor yeah. is with us. So Stephen, uh, one of the things I think we always do with The Boiling Point is always trying to come up with things that people can actually use um, and to look for. And mm -hmm. today we're in one of our rentals. It's a 350 horsepower rental. Mm -hmm. But you've got two things in particular in the stack as well as the header valve of kind of things that you should be looking for if you're a customer yeah. and you're getting a rental. Yeah, so the last time we talked about the uh, hot water units and we went over some things that we do to make it easier for the customer. Right. Uh, this time we talk about that, but we're also gonna talk about some of the safety things that we, we put in these units. So the first thing is, is like our, our stacks. Uh, on all these smaller units, 350 on down, we put telescoping stacks in here Two reasons. One, make it easier for the customer to set up. You pull two pins, slide them up, stick the pins back in there, you're ready to operate the unit. The other is that we don't, the customer doesn't have to get cranes to set a stack, get lifts in order to, and, and harnesses Harness. and all that stuff mm -hmm. to have to get on the roof of this trailer in order to set a stack in place. It's, it's time consuming and it's, you know, it's a safety issue to have yeah. to get up on that roof. Yeah. So that's one of the things we do. The other thing we do, same reasoning is the, the main steam header. We bring that main steam header out the wall and go ahead and put our valves on it inside the, the unit so they don't have to go through the roof. And, and a lot of the units that, that, that we run into, the, the header valve has to be placed on the, on the roof of the unit after the unit is, is set in place. Mm. So again, getting access to the unit, access to the roof, it's a safety issue. We don't want them to have to get up there. And it's a lot easier to bring it out the wall and the customer hook it up on site rather than have to come out of the roof and turn over. They just hook up and run. Just two safety and convenience issues for the customer on site. Yeah, a lot of times when people call, they're, they're calling, they're needing a boiler, and they don't even think about no. all of these things that go into the installation. And I know we've got several videos out there that talk a little bit about yep. installation and going through all of the, all of the equipment, of course but two really good things yeah. um, here to, uh, you know, to help out. Yeah, it's something we've designed into them that, that we probably don't promote enough. We don't, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. but just things that we do as, as a common sense thing for us that, you know, we take it for granted, so we mm -hmm. don't explain that to the customer. We need to do a better job with that. But if you do get these, make sure the stack goes down before the unit gets out yeah, of Yeah, that, that's an issue. <laughs> if they leave them up, they're gonna clip on an overpass and, and tear the stock off of them. That, that is an issue that we've, we've had to deal with, but it's, it's a lot easier for them to raise them up and down inside than it is to have to get up on the roof and unbolt them. So the most of the units that you see, they're literally bolting the stack on top of the, yeah. of the unit. They've gotta get a crane and then they've gotta get a, a JLG or some type of lift to get the person up there to be able to bolt it in place. Uh, so it takes two pieces of equipment and then again the safety issue of being you know 15 18 feet off the ground to put that stock on we don't need that yeah well make sure you figure in that if you are renting a boiler and you need to you know ask that question if not you've got to figure in all of the harnesses and the cranes and the, you know other things yeah, you've got time. extra time to do to be able yep. to put that on so yep. we'll see you next time on the boiler point.